everybody this is a quick guide for those of you who want to play uh games like on console like playstation 5 or xbox series x in hdr on your supported hdr display but want to record in obs in sdr so if in obs studio uh you see kind of a grayish uh, lower saturation preview this means that something is done wrong because if you start recording footage like that eventually you're going to get uh the same well basically what you see in the preview a lower saturated look like this one that you see here now i deliberately done this and i'm going to show you why it actually exists and how you can fix it now the reason for that is of course because uh, sdr uh, feed is actually flattened the brightness range and color gamut of hdr are compressed into sdr so this is, I'm going to showcase this on the elgato 4k x but it might be similar to your capture card as well there is an option if you right click on your uh, capture conscious filters in an effect filters you go to hdr tone mapping to override the built-in tone mapping of obs which do does tone mapping automatically same goes by the way if your capture card supports it it's not recommended to use it again but if you have no other option this is one way to do it now first before you test it out probably already you set it up for hdr but just in case go to screen video on the settings go to video output and make sure hdr is either on on when supported or always on if you just want to check it you know you can just put it in always on now the way you know it actually works you need to check out your display in this case i'm going to show you on my display and you can see that it actually sets to hdr on this is how you know that hdr is on because there's good communication between the playstation 5 in my case the capture card and the display now, if you're using an Elgato card, like for example, like the 4K X that I'm using, there are two things you need to make sure they are working properly. First, make sure for the Elgato capture card, you have either annual default uh, for the uh, video format, or make sure that it's NV12, uh, uh, 709 and limited, or put it on default or any, because these will be eventually SDR, because the capture card will transfer uh, that into the into obs but if you want to force it you can do it like that well force it kind of i mean more kind of override it in your capture card uh, utility i use 4k capture utility for the elgato 4k x i went to this uh, setting options so i click it and there if you have problem with communication uh, and ps5 give you issues so you can for example use a certain resolution with hdr make sure to use uh, in the input EDID mode, choose display rather than merged. So if you're plugging with merge, make sure to change to display. This should solve the issue for you with the miscommunication. For me, for example, it didn't detect the 1440p for my display uh, with HDR. So I needed to use display rather than merged. Then I went back to the PlayStation 5 and it actually communicated well with my display. Now uh, for the 4K capture utility, it might be different for you. You need to control and then click this icon this will reveal some hidden options as you can see these are related to tone mapping now the problem for me might be again as well be for you is regarding the tone mapping options that are kind of hidden so basically what happened to me when in obs that i saw kind of the great uh, low saturation preview is because i had only the first one checked enable hdr tone mapping on device when closing software so only when I close the software, the 4K capture utility, it was actually done right. Which you can do, of course, just close it and just focus on OBS and close the 4K capture utility uh, by Elgato. However, you can also choose the second option, use HDR tone mapping on device. This means that it doesn't matter if the capture utility is open or not, it will just do this tone mapping uh, for you automatically no matter the situation of the software. All right, so this is just an example uh, for the 4K X, but it might be similar to your capture card, but in different settings, of course, different places where the settings are. So of course I can cover everything, all the cards here, I'm just mentioning here in terms of the Elgato software, 4K capture utility, but make sure to check yours. So now basically I can play in HDR, enjoy really high quality visuals, uh, while also being able to record in SDR in OBS, OBS Studio. And basically that's it. Hope you find this one useful. If so, give a like. See you in the next guide. Cheers.